Hello, welcome to CUO Making Choices, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. Today, we are announcing to the world that Afro-optimism is here. We are calling on the world to join the movement. You know what? <laughs> Migrating from Africa to Europe or North America for a better life is no longer cool because that's not true. You don't get a better life as an African migrating from Africa to Europe and North America. We now know that you don't get a better life. The trend for young Africans now in today is staying in the continent to contribute, to contribute in building the continent. Africa's youths are saying they don't want to be takers, but makers and builders. Africa is the future and the future is now. A recent survey commissioned by Ivor Ichikowicz, chairman of Ichikowicz Family Foundation, has shown a growing belief in the concept of Afro-optimism. By this I mean fighting persistently negative stereotypes of the continent. And Mr. Ichikowicz is right in noting that the result of a survey conducted early this year makes a loud statement. It's a, it's a loud wake up call to the world that to the world and especially to Afro skeptics, Afro optimism is here. The survey cover, covered 14 countries in Africa, including 4,200 interviews with young people aged between 18 and 24. Here are the outcomes of the survey. First, Young people in Africa are overwhelmingly keen to tackle Africa's challenges head on, including confronting negative stereotypes. Number two, young people across Africa are confident that the continent is heading for an era of success fueled by technology and entrepreneurship. Number three, why most people interviewed were dissatisfied with the state of their own country almost half believed the continent as a whole was in a healthier state than previously and two thirds of two thirds actually thought they were living through a transformative african century yeah number four africa's youth are refusing to shy away from the very rich challenges of africa that is honest and they have been honest about what needs to be done and what their role has to be to achieve this and they are overwhelmingly keen to make their difference. Young Africans are sticking by Africans, Africa supporting Africa, and are ready to sacrifice, work, and build Africa. Number six, those surveyed had strong opinions about the importance of technology and business, with 81% saying they believe technology could unlock the continent's potential. This is a similar this is just beautiful and powerful. <laughs> a similar amount believe access to Wi-Fi should be a fundamental human right. Number seven, three quarters of young people said they planned to start their own business in the next five years. And many already had ideas that, were re that, that they were ready to work on. Number eight, the African Union was mostly looked upon favorably as a way of uniting countries across the continent. This is so exciting. The Brooklyn Institute is correct indeed. They came out with this statement in January 2019 and they were correct in stating that while narratives over the past decades have painted a wide range of views of Africa as a child in need of development, a rising economic power, an imminent threat, a tinderbox of terrorism, poverty, forced migration, and disease. That's a lie. The truth is that, and one thing we, the world knows that we are certain about, is that there's a transformation that Africa has undergone in recent decades. And this transformation has been remarkable. Africa is shaping its own destiny and should be referred to as the Africa of opportunity instead of the Africa of threat. With the establishment of the African Economic Community and the planned adoption of a single currency by 2023, Africa is a region of economic and global influence.
Today, approximately 1.3 billion people are living in 54 countries in Africa. And that number is expected to increase by at least 30% by 2050, making Africa the most populous region in the world. A marketer's dream destination indeed. Blessed with a large amount of the world's diamond, sugar, salt, gold, iron, cobalt, uranium, copper, bauxite, silver, petroleum and copper beans, woods, tropical foods, to name just a few, Africa is the most naturally rich continent in the world. The recent discoveries of oil reserve in many countries across Africa has increased the importance that of that commodity on the economies of the continent. Sudan and Nigeria are two of the main producers of oil in the world today. Recent growth in Africa has been due to growth in sales commodities, services, and manufacturing. Most African countries with rich middle income status, which is defined by, you know, as at least $1,000 per person a year by 2025, if current growth rates continue. And many African countries would attain the level of the developed world, although I think many already, you know, on that, on that radar. Many already should be ranked as part of the developed world. As Africans intensify efforts to end the exploitation of Africa's resources by Western nations like the United States, Canada, Australia, France, and the United Kingdom, as well as emerging economies like China, the continent, I mean by the continent, I mean Africa's economic outlook will continue to improve because yes, we're going to end the exploitation by these countries the exploitation of Africa's natural resources. This is just amazing and a good news. Hear this world, hear this world. Yes, Africa is the future of the world and the future is now. Thank you.